here we're in Mari, we've got a dragon a model which has been UV'd. Excuse the extra noise here, it's raining. Um, so we're just adding a couple of base colours. Add a dark blue and a nut. slightly lighter blue for highlights. And so what we're going to do is that we are going to use a oil um, layer to mask the top color layer using a mask layer stack, which I'm going to drag and place over here. And here we go. We're going to just add the oil straight in. Now you're not going to see anything straight away because you need to adjust the size, which is down at the bottom. So I need to drag up the sliders, which for some reason I was having difficulty with. There we go. Um, so we're going to reduce the size down, and there you go. And I love the oil filter because there's so much detail that can be added, especially with the organic mode well, can go from a quite watery to quite a rusty texture quite quickly. So I add a bit of roughness. And then we have the oil ask acting as a mask between the two color layers. So now we're going to share that oil channel into the spec channel. So right click, sharing, share layer, get duplicate layer, and then drag that down. Now you can see it working in the spec. So we're just checking the, we're going to go into the current channel view, and then you can go, you can just see the oil working purely in the specular channel. And the great thing with um, sharing layers like this is that any changes that you make in the shared oil in the spec channel would be read back into the original parent oil channel in the color so that the pattern would be constant throughout the various channels in Mari and so now we're going to take that duplicate channel again and share it into the bump just arranging my layer stacks uh, so again sharing share layer create a duplicate and drag it up and you'll see it pop up into the bump there you go and you can see how this one channel is now driving a huge sorry this one layer rather is driving both the channels and starting to create lovely texture depth but since we started off in the layer mask what we can do now is that we can paint in areas that we want to mask for it so in this case I want to mask the stomach and give that slightly lighter tone so I'm just selecting the UV patch now for the stomach which had been preset oh just need to make sure I'm in the right mode There we go. And then just pick a big brush and paint away. Oh, and I'm being very fastidious in naming my layer. And so we just paint away. I've already set the projection settings to just work on the selected elements. You go project on selected only. Make a bigger brush. You can hide that wireframe selection, but just for the purpose of this, um, just because it was a big mask area, I just 
kept the visualization on. So you can also hide the unselected areas that you want, um, as I've done here, which gives you a bit more control and it's a bit easier to see exactly what you're painting. Just make sure that you have the polygon selection, sorry, the project on selected only selected. Uh, that's a bad sentence. Um, otherwise, when you unhide the rest of your mesh, you're going to see that you've painted way over the edges. So we're done. We're going to hide that selection. And there you go. You can see that even though we've just done this on the diff diffuse um, mask, I'm going to start working into the eye there, that um, the spec and the bump still apply through the shared channel. So this is where you can really start to see the power of Mori and the way that you can use different channels to really create highly detailed and unique textures.